Senji and the Muzzy Bug by Ashley Madden, illustrated by Ashley Madden, published by Design Boss, read to you by Vincent Terenure Library. Senji the Muzzy Bug was feeling very woozy. His chest was wheezy, his forehead was clammy, and his whole body ached. In fact, he was feeling rather cranky indeed. Senji had caught a Muzzy Bug. Senji was bored. The muzzy bug was contagious, so he couldn't play with his friends. Instead, he played with Teddy, who wasn't much fun at all. I'm so miserable, Senji cried. Don't feel sad, said a little voice out of thin air. Did you speak, Teddy? Senji asked as he peeped over his blanket in shock. It wasn't Teddy, it was me, the little voice said. My name is Karma. I'm the little voice that lives inside your head. Senji looked down and saw a tiny butterfly glowing beside his bed. Karma looked exactly like Zenji, only much, much smaller. Everybody has a little magic inside them, Karma whispered. You just need to believe in yourself. If you focus on this moment, you can make magical things happen. With that, Karma floated slowly above Zenji's bed and began to chant. Lie on your back with your eyelids closed. Now clench all your fingers and wrinkle your nose. Stretch your legs out as long as they go. Then relax your whole body from your head to your toes. Breathe in happy thoughts that make you feel glad, then exhale all the lucky ones that make you feel sad. Do this three times and soon you will see that there's oodles of magic in the air that you breathe. As Senji listened to Karma, he focused on each breath he took, and each breath he took made him sleepier and sleepier. Then slowly but surely, Zenji began to shrink. The sleepier Zenji grew, the smaller and smaller and smaller he shrank. Until he became so small, he floated inside his own body. Zenji drifted down, 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 deep into his chest where he found telltale signs of the muzzy bug. If I focus on this moment, I can make magical things happen, Zenji thought. Suddenly, sparkling white light gushed from his fingertips. He pointed this light at the Muzzy Bug and... The Muzzy Bug disappeared. And Zenji became even more sleepy. Once again, the sleepier Zenji grew, the smaller and smaller and smaller he shrank until he became so small that he whizzed through his body like a super cool water park slide, shining magical light everywhere he went. He travelled from the tips of his nose up through his legs, into his tummy, and then into his arms. Pointing light at the places where Muzzy Bug had been. He pointed light at his heart, and it glittered, and it glistened, and it glowed with love. With every breath Zenji took, the light became brighter and brighter and brighter until it was so bright his whole body twinkled and sparkled with magical light. Zenji felt strong and healthy and happier than he had ever been before. But he was still very, very sleepy.
Good night, Zenji, Karma whispered. And with that, Zenji drifted into a deep, deep sleep where the darkness of night was lit by his light and he forgot that he had ever caught a muzzy bug. Thank you.